Hello, this is Mator, and today I'm going to be going over how to merge plugins using Nexus Mod Manager. So this is assuming you've already installed Test 5 Edit, Nexus Mod Manager, and you have some mods you want to merge. So I'm just going to open Nexus Mod Manager here, and here we go. So just so you know, I don't use Nexus Mod Manager myself. I use Mod Organizer. Uh, I recommend you use Mod Organizer. But if you absolutely cannot or do not want to, then you can use Nexus Mod Manager just as well. So we have here all of these mods that are installed that we're going to be merging, these user interface mods. Um, some of these we're going to opt to not merge, like Sky UI and Race Menu. And I'll go over that more in the future. But anyways, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to make sure all your mods are activated that you want to merge and you're going to make sure they're all contiguous in your load order which means that they're all in one block like this and there's nothing in between all of these plugins are going to be merged into a single plugin anywho once you've got that we're going to now start test 5 edit so i'm going to go to my skyrim directory which is where i have test 5 edit installed and start it up when test 5 edit starts up, you'll see a list of the plugins you have installed. Um, I right click select none, and then I'm going to select the plugins that I want to merge. I'm actually going to select a few more as well, um, Sky UI and Race Menu, just so that I can get the chance to explain why I'm not merging those. Anywho, once you've done that, selected those, loaded them, uh, background loader will go. It'll take between 10 seconds and a minute, depending on whether or not it's loading the DLC. I'm loading the DLC, so it's going to take about a minute. So I'll quickly explain to you guys why I am not going to be merging these three plugins, Sky UI, Race Menu, and Race Menu plugin. And the reason for that is, even though mods don't really have a master dependency on these things, like Sky UI and Race Menu, um, there are mods that rely on it in certain ways, and they're also in many ways kind of the most complicated mods you could be merging um the, the the short version is if you merge sky ui there might be some issues with how mcms display because you no longer have it in a plugin called sky ui.esp and if you merge race menu there's issues selecting custom colors uh specifically for um, hairs and skin color, not so much with um, the overlays. But uh, anywho, so those plugins, even if there are reports submitted, I would recommend you don't merge them simply because it doesn't quite work exactly right. However, um, mm, go away. Anywho, it's just, uh, yeah, I just don't merge those. Anywho, we now have these plugins. We're going to merge these. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to right click and check for errors. There are no errors in any of these plugins or actually interesting. Um, there is actually an error in here. This looks like it's expecting a certain amount of data and finding less than it expects on helmet toggle script spell quest. Let's take a quick look at that just to see if we can get an idea of what's going on here. Ugh, that looks very unpleasant. Um, I'm not sure why that's happening, but I'm just going to merge anyways. Uh, hopefully it'll still work in game. But uh, that would be the kind of thing that you might want to fix. It looks like it's kind of corrupted. Um, possibly something that the mod author did. But I'm just going to try to merge it to see if it'll work. So we're going to now right click and apply script. We're going to choose Merge Plugins version 1.9 from the drop down menu and click OK. The Merge Plugin script will initialize. It'll take a few seconds and a window should pop up. I actually just realized it may be using my config settings from Mod Organizer. So I'm going to have to, you're going to see a message if this is the first time you run it that's telling you to set up your advanced options and it'll take you to this window. But I'm just going to go there. You can always get there by clicking on the gear. Um, we're going to make sure that I'm using Mod Organizer is not checked. That cannot be checked. I'm actually going to make sure this is unchecked too. Then we're going to set the asset destination directory and if you want to make your life really easy and nice you're going to want to set this to some folder that's accessible to you i like to put it on i would put it personally on my desktop i would make a folder um, 
for merging. Uh, let's see here. Why don't I just make a folder right now? We'll say it merge asset directory. And you can put it wherever you want. If you don't want to clutter your desktop, that's totally understandable. You can put it somewhere else. Maybe you want to put it in Nexus Mod Manager's directory. Really, wherever works for you. Um, let's just say merging. Okay. So hopefully it will refresh. Maybe we have to reopen this window. Um, not the folder I wanted. Here we go. Merging. Okay. So now when all of the assets that will be copied in the process of merging these plugins, which will be face gen data, voices, and MCM translation files. In our specific case of this merge, there will only be MCM translation files. But um, it's important that those get packaged here and that we then turn this into a package for the merge plugin. But anywho, we're just making this asset destination directory so later on we can zip this folder up and install it using Nexus Mod Manager. So anywho, we're now ready, we can click save. Um, you can leave all of these options how they are. You want to be using no second pass. If you were using version 1.8, this may be your default option from your old config file. Use no second pass. It's better. It's, I recommend you use it. Um, in addition, we're going to want to extract BSAs uh, because we're using Nexus Mod Manager. And if you ever want to know what any of these options are, if you're confused, you just want to understand something, you can always mouse over it and a hint should come up which tells you about it. Every single option on this form has a hint, so if you're ever confused, those can help you out. So we're now gonna click Save. We should see here all of the plugins we wanna merge should be checked, looks right to me. We're gonna click OK. We're gonna choose Create New File, and we're gonna say User Interface. It's now gonna merge. We could click Show Details here, but we really don't have to. Um, Merge should proceed. This is a pretty small merge. The user interface mods that I'm merging don't have very many records in them, so the merge is already done. So we now have this new ESP file, which has the content of all of these ESP files inside of it. We're going to real quickly just check for errors, make sure there's nothing wrong with it. There won't be. I've already tested this merge. Well, there's the same thing as before. Um, that shouldn't matter, though. Um, we will see, though. Anywho, we're now going to close Test 5 Edit, and we're going to right-click Select None and choose only user interface.esp and click OK. This will save only the plugin that we created. All right, so now if we go into our merging folder, we can see that there are some stuff in here. There's scripts, interface, and in translations, we should see user interface these right here. These are all the um, <clears throat> all the interface files that we need in order for the plugin, the, the text and the MCM menus to display correctly. You can open the English one for instance. You could see it's it's defining a variable here and then saying what it should be appearing as. So if you have a merge an MCM menu mod and you see a bunch of things with dollar signs in front of them and then some text, which doesn't make very much sense instead of normal plain English text without a dollar sign, then you know that the MCM translation files were not properly copied and merged, and that would be a problem. But anywho, um, that's more or less everything we need to do here. We're now going to find the plugin file that we just created, which should be in our Skyrim data directory, right in here, called user interface we're going to cut or move that file into our merging folder. That is a good start, um, not into the translations folder. Did I move it into the translations folders? No, it's, it's in the bottom. Okay, good. So that's where it's supposed to be. Um, now the next and final step we're going to do, we're going to take this merging folder, we're going to go inside of it, and we're going to add all of it to a zip archive. Uh, you can use do this using a number of different applications out there. There's WinRAR, which is what I'm using, 7-Zip, and Windows can also make compressed folders. Um, that's all that an archive really is. You just need to put it into an archive so you can install it with Nexus Mod Manager. And we're going to call this user interface.zip. Best. And we're going to delete the files after archiving because we don't need them after that. 
So we now have this zip file and we're going to install it using Nexus Mod Manager. To do that, we're going to click Add Mod from File and we're going to go to our merging folder and we're going to open the zip file. It should create a new mod on our list here called User Interface. What we're going to do is we're going to put that into the User Interface category real quickly. And then we're going to rename it because we want to have a space in there because prettiness. Um, and then we're going to activate it. And <clears throat> should install it, should go well. And then we're almost ready. The last thing we're going to do is we're going to disable the plugins that we merged, which I just did right there. And we're going to move this to be at the top of the load order of the plugins that we merged. So these are all the plugins we merged. Here's our merged plugin. And that should create more or less the pretty, actually it should create the exact same behavior in game as the plugins did before they were merged. Because they were all contiguous here, all of their records have been combined into this one plugin. So yeah. Um, yeah, that's um <clears throat> that's more or less it for merging with Nexus Mod Manager. Um, again, I recommend you don't merge race menu and sky UI because that might not work correctly afterwards. Um, yeah, so it's important that what we disabled here were the plugins and not the actual mods. Uh, if you disable the actual mods, then certain assets, general assets, not the specific ones or the ones that were in the BSAs, will no longer be available to the merged plugin, which will cause certain aspects of the mods we merged to not function correctly. Now, alternatively, if we did want to disable the mods here instead of disabling the plugins, we would have to open the folder or basically get all the files from all of these mods and put it into our merged plugin merging zip file, this one right here. So basically like what you might have might have to do, you would go here, um, you would have to find your, um, your Nexus mod manager mods folder. And then you would be like, okay, I merged, achieve that. So you'd open it, you'd find this folder, and you'd see, okay, it just has a translation file and it just has a BSA. I extracted BSAs, I don't have to worry about that. Faux mod, I don't have to worry about. So I don't have to do include anything for that. Oh, let's pick up books, just a BSA. Don't have to do anything for that. Auto unequip ammo, BSA. That was extracted, don't have to do anything about that. Auto PV, it looks like this has a loose SKSE folder. So if we wanted to disable this from the mod manager, we would have to move this SKSE folder into our merging folder and include it in this zip file. Uh, and you can proceed like that way for every single mod you merged if you want to deactivate them in the mod manager. Uh, that's a lot of work though. You probably just want to disable the ESPs. You'll get the same effect. Uh, you'll just have a little bit of clutter and uh, a bit of um, overridden files and just extra files in your data folder. And that's just the way that Nexus Mod Manager works. If you want to get around that kind of thing and having that overhead of basically having a lot more data than what you want to have, then what you'd have to do, you'd, you'd have to use Mod Organizer or, or you'd have to go through it yourself manually and repackage all those assets into the archive for your merged mod. So yeah, anywho, that's, that's it. I uh, hope you guys found this video tutorial useful. I wish you best of luck merging. And if you don't like merging with Mod or our next Mod Manager, go get Mod Organizer. I don't know how many times I have to say that for some of you guys to start doing it, but um, yeah, it's uh, it's Mod Organizer's a lot better in my opinion. Anywho, that's the end of this video. Thank you.